Hello, everybody. It's Friday, the 28th of June. Talk about what happened last night. <laughs> 45 and 46. But before I get there, I want to thank everybody for getting me past that 666. <laughs> and I, I ask, please subscribe so I can get this channel up and running and hopefully make something out of this and talk about everything. We got to go to the White House and we got to get the response from the press secretary uh, Pierre. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. Okay, so you did not see Biden freezing up, shitting himself. What you actually saw were cheap fakes. So what you saw last night was all fake. This is from the, with the Spanish. I just want to let pass this on to you guys. Interference was heard during the debate between Biden and Trump. Let's take a listen. He never took him away. He can't because it's too much money. It's you hear that? Industries and there was more to come, but he hasn't done that. <laughs> Let me replay it. Boy, he can't because it's too much money. It's too right there. Apparently, his mic was still on. So the comments going around in Spanish, basically saying that he pooped himself. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's the comment that's being floated around with that clip. Now, there's reports about him with the earpiece, and I, and I did notice that by the way when he kept. You know, doing this number with his ears. Okay, this comes from the the Trump campaign. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with the COVID. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Okay, we got some responses. Raise your hand for me if you voted for Biden in 2020. And keep your hand up if you're still with him this time around after that debate. Slowly going down. See, the men, men, they know what time it is. We're having a difficulty with the women. I mean, what, what, what does it take? More higher food prices? But the Democrats are... Joe Biden had one thing he had to do tonight, and he didn't do it. He had one thing he had to accomplish, and that was reassure America that he was up to the job at his age. Okay, and a lot of Democrats are feeling the same way. They know what time it is, but er, Jill keeps pushing them. Listen. She's the one really running the ship. So now we know who really is pulling the strings. That's the reason he won't drop out. She doesn't want to give up the power. But the other Democrats are awake. This is a CNN Who poll. won the debate? We asked debate watchers in our instant poll. And the answer is a resounding Donald Trump did. 67% of debate watchers in our poll say Donald Trump won the debate tonight. And Joe Biden... 33% say he won the debate tonight. I mean, these are CNN polls, our uh, viewers. So imagine if we had an independent. Oh, those polls will be coming out probably today to tomorrow, this weekend. Yeah. Those every one of these questions is coming. He, he goes through six days of preparation at Camp David. More than that. And they know the rules. It was more than a week. Okay, they, and so more than a week. They know the rules. He practices with the mics. He knows every one of these questions is coming. Okay, he knows every single of those questions was coming. He, yeah, I knew that. Everybody knew that, that he got the advance. And yet he couldn't fill the time. Now, that, I, I just want to... Well, we already know what the White House is saying. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. We're getting back to more. Now, this is the most... She's numero uno. She's connected from Obama. She, <laughs> she even says it. Listen to this. That said, um, I, too, was on the phone throughout much of the debate. Um, with um, Obama world people, with Democrats, um, with people who are political operatives, with campaign. With Obama. Operatives, my phone really never stopped uh, buzzing throughout. And the um, universal reaction was somewhere approaching panic. <clears throat> um, the people who were texting with me were very concerned about uh, President Biden seeming extremely feeble, seeming extremely weak, and President Biden had one job tonight, and it was it, it one primary job, but he had to settle his own party. He needed to settle Democrats. Demo but Joe Biden's job was to reassure them tonight. His job was to calm his party, to make them feel that, yes, I can do this. I have four more years in me. I have the ability uh, and the stamina and the strength to do four more years. He did not do that. He did the opposite of that. He did the opposite of that. And there's so many of them turning. These are hardcore, hardcore Democrats. Or well, the Obama, he's the leader of the party.
I mean, he just looked terrible. Oh, this is one of the far left wing, and they even criticize it. And, and the whole time, the split screen is killing Biden. Yep. Because he's got his mouth open, he looks confused, doesn't know where he is. So this is an epic disaster. I'll guarantee you this. I, I would bet any, show me a Democratic politician, and I will bet them any amount of money that Joe Biden's going to lose this election if he's the candidate. It's a guaranteed loss. That, that normally support him, 100% support him. Trump just hit it out of the park. Everybody was that normally support Democrat Party, the, you know, the far left, the loose media. They can't believe what they saw. When you got your own people, so expect Newsom and Hillary. We got a lot of things happening, by the way, uh, with a lot of things. So please, please support me. Help me out. I'm going to be talking about everything, everything, every subject you could think of. Until next time. Thank you.